Hi, my name is Blake Arnold. I'm Senior Product Manager for Platform Innovation at SmartThings. And today I'm excited to share with you some details about the ongoing evolution of the SmartThings platform. SmartThings is committed to helping our users and developers build great home experiences by giving users robust but easy to use features and providing our developers with tools to help their creations, projects, and businesses come to life on our platform. Over the past two years, we've been making some big changes to ensure our platform is more secure, scalable, shareable, and easier to use. We decided to make big, bold changes to the position the SmartThings platform for the great things that are coming in the smart home, and also give our developer community a head start in making those experiences start happening right now. We've listened to our users and studied how they use SmartThings, prioritizing our development around areas that we understand will matter the most to them. Today, I'd like to share our development that is centered around four areas, devices, automations, integrations, and tools. Together with some of our engineers who have worked on these features, we will go deeper into the features that are, we are building in each of these areas and showcase the work of our development teams that will help our growing community of SmartThings developers and users. In August of this year, we launched SmartThings Edge, our platform for local devices and automations. We designed the local device drivers and local automations that make up SmartThings Edge to be dependable, fast, and shareable. We also designed them to provide users with the simplicity and dependability they've asked for, while at the same time providing flexibility and scalability for our developers. Everything we do on the SmartThings platform is designed with our users in mind. As we set out to develop SmartThings Edge, we listened to the direct feedback of our community, set up face-to-face, -face, or in the case of last year, virtual meetings with our users, and developers, and also used anonymized data-driven investigations to look at how users were engaging with our platform. What we created was based directly on the use cases and implicit needs of our developers and users. Let's dig into Edge Drivers some more. SmartThings Edge Drivers provide a framework that supports local device communication and execution using SmartThings compatible hubs. Currently supported on the SmartThings V2 and V3 hubs, and AOTech smart home hubs. Edge drivers use the Lua scripting language to give users and developers an easy to learn, easy to implement, and shareable way to create hub connected device integrations on the SmartThings platform. SmartThings has always considered our developer community one of our strongest assets. When designing the future of devices on the platform, it was critical that we not only support a core set of drivers that just work for all of our users, but also that we give our community developers a way to apply their creativity to make the platform great. While we always have and will continue to support external development, our previous architecture was limited in the way that it handled devices. Custom device handlers were unable to run locally on hubs, forcing any custom hub-connected DTH to be reliant on the cloud. It was also overly complicated for developers to distribute and share their creations with others. Users were forced to copy and paste source code and had to navigate and use our IDE, which proved intimidating and overly complicated for many users. With these limitations in mind, we sought to make it both easier for our users of all skill levels to benefit from local device execution while also providing our developers with true developer-grade tools to develop effectively and faster. SmartThings Edge drivers were written in the Lua scripting language, chosen because it's lightweight, easy to learn, and easy to implement. Developers can leverage a significant set of libraries provided by SmartThings to support devices of several protocols without having to create something completely from scratch. Once a developer has their integration working the way they desire, they can create or add to an existing driver channel. Channels provide a way for developers to create collections of drivers and then share them with others through a simple URL. Other users can benefit from a developer's creation by simply clicking on the URL and authorizing the driver in a web-based prompt. Should a developer want to fix a bug or add a feature to their drivers, 
they can release them to a channel and all users will automatically receive these updates. SmartThings Edge is now available to use and supports Z-Wave, Zigbee, and LAN connected devices with plans to support Matter devices in the future. To provide an even deeper look at the creation and sharing of SmartThings Edge drivers, here's Zach Varberg, staff software engineer who helped bring Edge drivers to life. Hi, I'm Zach Varberg, and I've been a staff software engineer working on Edge device drivers from the very beginning of the project. We've built the next generation of hub-connected device support with developers in mind from the start. One of our goals was to significantly improve the story of building an integration for a device and sharing it with others. I will show you the process of using the SmartThings CLI to upload and share a driver supporting a Zigbee light bulb. First, we package and upload our driver. This package will contain everything needed to support the device, from the device profile, to the fingerprints, to the Lua code that will manage the control of the device. To find examples of SmartThings managed drivers, go to the SmartThings Edge Drivers repository on GitHub. Now that we have our driver uploaded, we can create our own channel. Channels are used to group together drivers to share with other people. When creating the channel, we will answer a series of questions giving our channel a name, description, and a link to the terms of service for using drivers in our channel. Next, we can publish the specific driver revision that we just uploaded to the channel we created. And finally, we can create an invite to our channel that can be used to share our driver. Again, answering a few questions about the invite name, ownership, and terms of the invite. From here, the URL can be shared with anyone to give them access to my custom Zigbee bulb driver. Because the share links back to my original driver, I can manage and maintain the driver as the device receives firmware updates, or I get great new ideas for features that I want to add and share. I can repackage to create a new driver revision and then publish it to channels as I deem it ready for general use. We hope you've enjoyed this simple example of how easily you can share your custom driver integrations with others using channels. Thanks, Zach, for your and the team's contribution to making SmartThings Edge drivers a reality. Let's talk about the other part of the SmartThings Edge platform, Edge Automations. At the last time we saw each other in person, in SDC 2019, Vice President Jayon Jung from SmartThings discussed the importance of the rules API to the SmartThings platform. Since that time, we've been hard at work consolidating automation functionality around the Rules API. This provides our users with extensive options for faster, more reliable automations. This past July, we went even further with the Rules API when we announced that for the first time, select automations would run locally on users' hubs. Since that time, we haven't slowed down. Instead, we've added much more functionality to the Edge automations, allowing users to the many options the Rules API brings to automations, but with the reliability of operating within a user's location, keeping their smart homes running without the reliance on a cloud or without the need for constant internet connectivity. Edge automations bring speed, reliability, and security to users' smart homes. And I'm very excited to have Vlad Stieben, one of the creators of the Rules API, to give more details about how edge automations work. Hello, I'm Vlad Stieben, the engineering manager for the Rules and Behaviors team at SmartThings. Our team seeks to provide value to our users by automating all aspects of their home. To do this, we need to be aware of what their expectations are when it comes to speed, consistency, and reliability. 
In a home without automation, it's interesting to think about how long it takes for a switch to turn on or for a garage door opener to start opening the door. Would the internet being down prevent you from doing either of these tasks or cause a delay if it's being slow? Of course not. To retain the speed and reliability, there is a need to run automations on the edge. On the other hand, the cloud provides valuable tools and features that allow us to quickly deploy new automation capabilities. At SmartThings, we have settled on a hybrid approach for rules. Our rule engine runs in the cloud and on the edge. Using an exciting new programming language called Rust, we are able to develop the rule engine safely and be confident in the home automation experience that we provide to our users. Our rule engine is broken up into three distinct applications. Hive, the core of our rule engine. It evaluates and takes action on rule API JSON. Swarm, the cloud container of our rule engine. It provides IO libraries for Hive to use in the cloud. And Drone, the embedded container of our rule engine. It provides IO libraries for Hive on the hub. Using this architecture, our team is able to focus on the part of rules that matter the most to our users, the features that the rule engine provides. We are able to deduplicate development efforts between the cloud and embedded systems and ensure that automations function in a deterministic manner, whether in the cloud or locally. Since the initial beta release of local rules, our team has released new automation features eligible for local executions for almost every firmware release. First, we released device-based rules, such as if a light is on, turn on another. Then, schedule-based rules at 6 p.m., turn on a light. Then we followed up with sun-based rules, such as do something between sunrise and sunset. And most recently, we've released rules that function on location modes, such as if a button is pressed, set the location mode to home. As we continue to iterate, more complicated conditions, such as if a motion sensor is remaining active for 30 seconds, or if a temperature rises above 70 degrees, or if someone has been home for an hour, are planned to be released, with other exciting features on the horizon. We are looking forward to making as much of the automation capabilities of smart things run locally as possible. Now back to you, Blake. Thank you, Vlad, for showing us just how fast and flexible edge automations really are. As you've seen from our last two presenters, our platform evolution is focused on providing outstanding smart home experiences to all users by enabling our developers to build easier and faster on the SmartThings platform. To help facilitate this, we've added a number of additional tools this year focused directly on our developer community. The SmartThings CLI provides a streamlined, efficient UI for developers enabling them to create and edit devices, capabilities, locations, apps, drivers, and more. It also provides an efficient way for smart things to quickly give our developer-focused functionality to the developer community without the time and complication of developing a fully featured web or app UI. This allows developers to bring new devices and integrations to our platform faster and for end users to benefit from their development. SmartThings is also proud to showcase our new developer docs portal. This single source of truth for platform documentation was born out of extensive user feedback and provides users and developers of all levels of proficiency a way to understand how the SmartThings platform works and gives them the information they need to develop their next idea. Developer Workspace remains the destination for developers who want to take their device and service integrations to the next level. An easy to understand web UI, developer workspaces where developers and partners can seek certification for their integrations and can create and maintain their brand assets so that users may quickly and easily find their integrations directly in the SmartThings app. Developer workspace also provides resources for developers to create and onboard a diverse array of device types, including directly connected devices like those using MQTT, cloud-connected devices using ST Schema, or BLE devices leveraging the Galaxy Tag network. In addition to these core developer tools, SmartThings continues to innovate and find new ways to empower our developers. One way in which we are doing that is by helping our developers become more familiar with the Rules API and with our newly created Recipes API. We identified that there was a gap between the functionality available to users through the SmartThings app and the more advanced automations that some users desire to build on the Rules API. While the Rules API is full-featured, 
We know that many aspiring developers are not quite comfortable writing directly in rules JSON. To help bridge this gap, Jason Jacobson, a developer on the SmartThings front end team, created the Routine Creator, a versatile tool built directly on the rules API specification. It allows users to create advanced automations, jumpstart their development in rules JSON, or develop automations with placeholder fields, and then share those directly with other users. To tell us more about the Routine Creator beta, here's Jason. Building Routine Creator was focused on a one-to-one -one experience to the new rules API. By following the API specification, the application is able to create and scale alongside any new functionality, leveraging platform APIs so we can work towards the best experience for our users, allowing them to also use everything possible provided by SmartThings, whether it's a simple routine that allows you to turn lights on at certain times, or something advanced that checks for a device status or a location mode to then lock your doors after a certain amount of time before turning on your outside lights. The routine creator should allow you to reach for the skies with the platform. Inside the creator, we allow users to view the actual routines as a readable view or also the raw code. This gives someone visibility into what a rule actually looks like. This can give guidance for handwriting, understanding the specification, or even the possibility of creating your own application to leverage rules. Along with routines, you can also create routine templates, which is a new concept to enable users to create advanced routines to share with the community and allow even the most novice of users to enjoy the platform's features. Once published, it's as easy as sharing a six-digit code with other users who want to use the template and using that inside the new plugin in the SmartThings app. Routine Creator is working towards being the place for users who want full control, allowing you to edit alongside enabling and disabling creations. We hope you enjoy and look forward to working with the community to create the best application possible. Over to you, Blake. Thanks for your work on the Routine Creator, Jason. I'm sure that it and other ongoing developer beta tools will provide new and better ways for our community to leverage the SmartThings platform. Finally, we at SmartThings continue to probe the edges of what's possible, not just within the four walls of the smart home, but throughout our users' connected lives. End users' smart home experiences shouldn't have to be thought about, planned, and extensively developed. They should be a natural part of their interactions with their homes, their devices, and their lives. As part of this journey, we've been hard at work deepening the integration of the SmartThings platform with Galaxy devices. The Galaxy X SmartThings project started with the goal of letting Galaxy users use smart home services in the easiest way at just the right moments. By integrating SmartThings devices with native Galaxy clock, phone, weather, calendar, and SmartView apps, users can seamlessly integrate their smart homes with their digital lives. Users could easily set up a good morning routine in the clock app when they set up their alarm time or they can set their TV to automatically mute itself when they receive an incoming call on their Galaxy phone. And all of this without having to leave whatever relevant app that they're currently in. What's more, we want to bring this ease of integration to our developers so that they can expand on these ideas in new and more creative ways. The ST framework provides an SDK for Android app developers to allow for easy configuration and triggering of smart home automations right from their own apps. Owing to the deep level of integration necessary for these features, the ST Framework SDK is only available to Samsung developers right now, but we plan to open it up to our development partners and community in the near future. This is just one of the many ways to integrate with the SmartThink platform. Endpoint apps, OAuth, and API access integrations all provide additional ways for developers to combine the power of their own apps and the platform with smart things. Thanks for watching our tech talk about platform innovation. I hope this has provided some insights into how Samsung SmartThings is working hard to build an open platform that lets our users and developers bright ideas come to life. For more information on our platform and for all of the latest features, please visit our website at smartthings.developer.samsung.com. Let's build something smart together.